Hello, welcome. I'm Julianne, and I'm going to be showing you some painting techniques that you can use with your art kit, your um, heart painting art kit. So one is just layering different colors using the gloss medium enclosed and the paints and creating different layers to come up with kind of an abstract colorful look like that. And another is using your um, applicator bottle to actually draw patterns onto your heart. And that would look something like that. Again, layering the paints to come up with an effect. All right, let's get started. So start out with your heart cutouts and I'm just gonna lower the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so first off, what you want to do is flip the heart over and get the back of it wet. This is to keep it from warping too much when you're painting. So just cover the back with some water, clean water, obviously, flip it over, and then you're going to wet the front as well. So you have a piece of practice watercolor paper, so I encourage you to practice and um, see the effects of putting paint on the wet paper. The more water you have on it, the more the paint will um, spread and flow. The less water, the more control you have. You can also just wet some sections and let the paint go there and leave the other sections dry. So have fun with that. So for this one, I'm going to just put a little bit of the magenta and gold on for a background color. You can see how the paint flows. You can also take some paint, just kind of splatter it like that. Be careful, this paint is not washable, so don't get it on your clothes. Okay, so now I'm just gonna let that dry. Um, for the other one, again, I'm going to wet the back. Flip it over and wet the front. And again, just um, put some paint down there and let it flow. I'm going to use some blue this time as well. Let's see if you can see it a little better. I think I'll splatter some gold in there. And for this one, I'm also going to take just a little bit of salt and sprinkle some salt on. What the salt does is it um, draws the water to it, and so it creates a pattern. Something. Uh, it just evolves. You won't know what it's going to look like till it's finished drying. So I'm going to set that over. Now I went ahead and did a couple ahead of time. So I've got some that are dry here. So here's one that I did with just the pink and the gold. That's dry. So now for this one, I'm going to take the gloss medium. And when you first get it, you want to cut the tip off, cut it as close to, if you look closely at it, you can see where the opening starts, cut as close to that as you can. That'll give you a narrower opening and give you more control. Unless of course you wanna cut it down and have a wider, fatter line, you can do that as well. But it's good to start small and cut more if you need to. So for this one, I think I'm just gonna do some spirals. So first I'm gonna just get the gloss coming out to the tip. And then take and just draw with it. And do another.
smaller spiral over here. You can see where the gloss is. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside and let that dry. Okay, for the next one, the more colorful one. Um, here's one that's dry. You can kind of see where the salt affected the paint and how the colors have blended together. So now I'm gonna layer some gloss on it. So you can take the gloss that you got and add a little bit of water to it. Maybe pour it in a little palette or a cup or something. Add some water so it's a little more fluid. And take your brush, dip it in, and then kind of just sprinkle it on there. Tap your brush. And cover up a good amount. And you can think about what areas of the color that you really like and cover those with gloss because what's gonna happen is when the gloss dries and we paint over it, the paint will resist where the gloss is. So the background color will show through. So you wanna get the areas that you wanna show through covered nicely. And you can use your brush in any way. If you can you know, make marks and put the gloss on that way, Again, have fun with it. And then once that is done, you can see we've got a good amount of gloss on there. I'm gonna let that dry. All right, so the next layer is, once the gloss is dried, generally takes, it could take 15 minutes to a half hour, depending on how thick it is. You wanna make sure it's dry. So now I have one that I painted with the pink and I put the gloss on. See, that's dry. So the next step is putting another layer of paint over it. So um, you can put, choose one color or a few colors. So I think I'm gonna do mostly pink. And again, you can either wet it first and have more of a, um, so that the paint will flow, more of a um, watery look, or you could paint directly to have a brighter, stronger look. So I'm just gonna show you what it's like painting directly on there. And you can see where the paint is resisting where the gloss was. And the other colors are showing through. So as you're planning this out, think about what colors mix together. You know, you get yellow underneath, you put pink on it, it'll make orange. If I was putting blue on this, the blue over the pink would make more of a purple color. So you can keep that in mind as you're planning your piece. So now you can see where the gloss has resisted where the paint, the paint has resisted where the gloss is. You can also go back in with your brush and wipe some of that off if you, you want it even lighter. But as the paint dries, it will kind of flow off the, the gloss. All right, I'll set that aside. And now I've got a sample of the one we did with splattering the gloss, that's all dry. So now this one, you can do a few different layers. Um, so I think I'm gonna put some, this one I'm gonna get wet first. Now you can wet the back, uh, probably isn't gonna warp as much now that there's paint and gloss on it, so that might not be necessary. I think I'm going to do a little bit of purple. On there. And some blue. Okay. You can see how the um, paint is resisting where the gloss is. You can get some 
pretty cool effects. It's fun to watch, see what happens. Okay, so once the paint is dry, let me see, that's all dry, the gloss is showing through. The next step is to outline the edges in gold, if you'd like. So you have your little container of gold paint, and then you just take your brush and just go around the edge. The gold paint. All right, so I'm just going to show you. Here's one that I've done that has been outlined in gold. And before I do the next step, I just want to show you. Here's um, one that I did with the splattering the paint. And this, I did a couple layers. I did a, uh, another layer of gloss splatters on top of the first one once it dried and added another color so it got even darker. You can go as dark or as light as you want, obviously. So once you have your heart outlined in the gold, the next step is to cover it and put a layer of gloss on top. So take your applicator and just do a couple, some dots of gloss around the whole thing, kind of evenly spaced. And then take your brush and cover it all with a nice even layer. Okay. And once that's done, I recommend moving it to another spot to dry, just to make sure you don't have any gloss pooled underneath so it doesn't stick to your surface. So just be, be aware of that and set it aside to dry and that's it. After that, um, you just you know, put some glue on the back and glue it to your boards and sign the back. Oops, I line the back with a marker and you're done. All right, thank you, enjoy.